My name is Angela Duckworth, and I'm a professor at the University of Pennsylvania and the Wharton School of Business. Am I a fan of the Center for Open Science? What do I think of OSF? I honestly can't imagine doing the work that I do, or frankly, imagining any of my colleagues doing the work that they do in behavioral science without the Center for Open Science, without the OSF registry. Every time I have a new student and they are learning the ropes, learning what it is to do scientific research, learning what it is to have a sense of the standards of, of open science, of um, honesty, of transparency, of uh, replicability, the first place I send them is the Center for Open Science because they have to learn the procedures, the norms, um, and also the resources uh, that the Center for Open Science provides. So I want to say that the work of the Center for Open Science and OSF in particular, um, it's not just a nice to have for science in the 21st century, it's an absolute need to have and a glad to have. Somehow this organization with the individuals that it has attracted uh, to, to run it, you know, have created not only a, a, a way for us to do better science, but also to do it in an environment that people feel, you know, excited, positive, not, you know, threatened or um, paranoid, honestly, um, about, you know, what could go wrong if they're caught doing X, Y, or, or Z. In other words, I think the Center for Open Science has communicate a kind of culture of like, aren't we all in this together? Don't we all want transparency? Don't we all want integrity? You know, what is science for? Science is for truth. And science is ultimately, I think, for making the world a better place. And I think in, in an integral, irreplaceable way, that is exactly what the Center for Open Science does. So thank you, COS. Thank you, OSF. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without you.